Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to save get response list contacts to Google Sheets. So here in this case, I want whenever a new contact is created in my get response account under a specific list, automatically we should get the contact details and then these details should be added in our Google Sheets as a new row. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect, in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process, our trigger application will be get response and our action applications will be get response and Google Sheets. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to save your get response list contacts to Google Sheets automatically. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. Now in this create workflow dialog box, it is asking to give a name to our workflow. Here I'm giving the name as save get response list contacts to Google Sheets. And now I'm going to select my folder as Google Sheets. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. Now to create a workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Here in this workflow window, you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up our trigger. Here I'm going to select my trigger application as get response and my trigger event as contact subscribed. And here you can see we have received the webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our get response account with Pabli Connect. So following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my get response account. From here I'm going to click on tools and from here I'm going to select webhooks. Now here in manage webhooks, here I'm going to click on this create webhook. And now here it is asking for webhook name. So here I'm going to give the name as Google Sheet. Moving forward, now it is asking for webhook URL. So for that, let me take you back to Pabli window. Here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. Moving back to get response account. And here I'm going to enter the webhook URL. Now after entering the webhook URL, scrolling down, here it is asking for which event to notify you of. So here I want contact subscribed. So here I'm going to click on that. Moving forward, here I'm going to active the webhook status. And then I'm going to click on create webhook. And here you can see we have successfully set up our webhook. Now let's go back to Pabli. Now here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here we need to do a test submission to receive a trigger response. So for that let me take you back to my form. So this is a basic template which I have created. So here I'm going to enter the dummy data. Here I'm going to enter the name as dummy user. Email as dummy at the And a random phone number. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted our response. Now let's go back to Pabli. And here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received contact name, email and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now here I'm going to select my action application as filter by Pabli and my action event as filter values. So here I'm going to use filter by Pabli because I want only the contacts which are created under the Pabli list should be captured by Pabli Connect. And here my form was already linked with my get response list. So here I'm going to click on this connect. Moving forward, here you can see it is asking for conditions. So here in filter by Pabli, we, we can add two types of conditions that are end condition and or condition. So here in my case, here I'm going to add an end condition and for that here I'm going to select the label. So here in my get response, I'm going to select my campaign name which is Pabli list and my filter type is equal to and my value for the label will also be the campaign name that is Pabli list. So here I've added a condition and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see we have successfully received a response. So from now onwards, only the contacts which are created on the Pabli list will be captured by Pabli Connect. Now moving forward, here I'm going to add another action step. And here I'm going to select action application as get response again. And now my action event as get a contact detail. So by selecting this action event, we will get details of every new contact created. So now here I'm going to click on this connect. 
and here I'm going to select add new connection because here we have taken our get response as an action application and for building the new connection here it is asking for API key so here it says enter your API key you can find your API key from here so here I'm going to click on this and here you can see in the API section we have an option of generating API key so here I'm going to click on this generate API key and here I'm going to give my API key a name that is Google Sheets and here I'm going to click on this generate and here you can see we have successfully created the API key from here I'm going to copy this key moving back to Babli and here I'm going to enter the API key so here I've entered the API key and now I'm going to click on the save now after building the connection moving forward here it is asking for contact ID so here it is asking for contact ID so for the contact ID here I'm going to map the contact ID and for that here I'm going to turn on this map button so here mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here I will map the data from the response I have received in my get response so from here I'm going to select my contact ID and now I'm going to click on the save and send test request and here you can see we have successfully received a response where we have received name email campaign name moving forward and here we have received the phone number also so with this we have successfully set up this action application now moving forward here i'm going to add another action application and here i'm going to select my action application as google sheets and my action event as add new row and now to connect my google sheets with public connect here i'm going to click on this connect here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your google sheets account is already connected with public connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here i'm going to click on sign in with google here i'm going to select my account and here i'm going to click on this allow and give access to public as your data is secured with public authorization successful now moving forward here it is asking me to select the spreadsheet so here i've already created a spreadsheet with the name get response contact family list and here you can see i have taken some basic fields such as name email and phone number so now moving back to family here i'm going to select my spreadsheet name as get response contact family list moving forward now it is asking me to select the sheet so here i'm going to select the sheet as sheet one moving forward and now it is asking me to select name email phone number so basically these are the fields which i've entered in my google sheet sheet so instead of entering the data manually here i will map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i will map the data from the response i have received in my get response so mapping makes our text dynamic that means whenever a new contact will be created automatically the previously existing details will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map the name moving forward here i'm going to map the email and lastly here i'm going to map the phone number so here i'm done mapping the data and now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see we have successfully received a response so now let's go and check our google sheet and here you can see we have received another response where we have received name as dummy user email as dummy at the rate and a random phone number so with this we have successfully set up our automation now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not so to test our automation we need to create a new contact by submitting the form again so for that let me take you back to my form here i'm going to refresh this scrolling down and now again here i'm going to enter a dummy data where i'm going to enter the name as test lead email as test at the rate publicutes.com and a random phone number and now i'm going to click and now i'm going to click on the submit and here you can see we have successfully submitted a response so now let's go and check our google sheet again and here you can see we have successfully received another response where we have received name as test lead email as test at the rate publicutes.com and a random phone number so with this we have successfully tested our automation now let me summarize this whole video for you so here we have taken our trigger as get response and our action as filter by Pabli, get response and google sheets so in this case i want whenever a new contact is created in my particular list automatically the details of that contact should be added in my google sheets as a new row so here i've used filter by Pabli to only get the contacts which are created under my Pabli list and here i've used get response as my action application to get the contact details if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below i hope you like the video thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pabli connect if you have any doubt you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com if you have any query you can contact us on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can contact us on www.pabli.com if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends